Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna do a little analysis of the Chicago Pro 2024. So this basically was your top 8, and you guys know that there were a lot of kinda of big name guys, and in this top 8 callout you had for example Stanimal, who did not make it in a top 4 callout, and also Hassan Mustafa, who also did not make that top 4, so no, his conditioning apparently is not where it needs to be. If you've seen my previous video on Hassan, it seemed like he wasn't exactly in super crazy conditions, so he improved it from Toronto, but let's say Toronto, he was like 10 weeks out, and here he's like 4 weeks out, 5 weeks out, something like that, so still, definitely not good conditioning, not even close, not even remotely, he's is embarrassing himself at this point this year i don't know what the hell is he thinking or doing but this is this is not good this is definitely horrible for his career at this point now stanimal i think he improved from the last show i think he was a little bit uh, drier and harder but he is still simply way too small the other guys are just much bigger and you have nathan Eppler who is he's bigger than stanimal but he's not that big and he actually managed to get in that top four which was surprising to me i didn't pay too much attention to him i mean he was a 212 guy previously and i guess he managed to put enough size with his shape he has a really good shape it was enough to be in the top four at this show to win a show no but to be third or fourth more likely fourth i think he's fourth here i think that's still a great success for him now in my prediction for this show i actually had mohammed fuda and Tim Budesheim in my top two. I actually thought Tim was gonna win this show if he really nails that conditioning. I wasn't sure if he was gonna be able to do it because he competed way too many times this year. And you know what? I think he brought it. I think he was in decent conditioning here. I don't think the conditioning was the problem here. Uh, he's not gonna be winning or placing second. He's not in the center of the callout. And I think the reason for that is more so the shape, the structure. Mohamed Fuda and Vlad Sukhoruchko just have better structures, better shape. So Mohamed Fuda, I kind of thought he was going to be a front runner, but I am honestly surprised with Vlad Sukharuchko, and I think he is most likely winning this show mainly because of the back shots. Look at his glutes here, look at the difference in conditioning in the glutes, and the back thickness. And of course his tan is much better, so he looks more impressive. I'm not gonna lie, I did not see this. Vlad Sukaruchko has always looked really crazy in Instagram photos, but on stage he never looked this good. He finally figured it out, like he came in crispy, and I think he kind of solved his issue, like, if you guys remember, his delts were always super swollen, and there were, like, some bumps on his lats and everywhere in his arms, too. Like, I guess it was just, you know, him in injecting gear everywhere. He had some bad injection spots, and he apparently fixed that. Maybe he was using less gear in the offseason, and he didn't have to shoot his body everywhere, or he did some, I don't know, massage therapy, so the swelling disappeared, or he started using some more clean lean gear, I don't know, but it wasn't uh, as bad as before, and his conditioning most certainly was better than ever. Now, as far as Mohamed Fuda, I think he probably has prettier shape, but this is the reason why I don't think he can win this, it's because of the back, the glute conditioning, the conditioning of the back, the mass in the lower body and the upper body from behind, the width in the shoulders, you know, more conditioning overall, I think Vlad did enough, but I would say Mofuda has better shape, especially from the front. I think Vlad killed him in these back shots. Look at his back lat spread. This is looking nasty. He's destroying all these guys. I mean, Nathan Epler looks not, looks like a classy guy next to Vlad here, honestly. So Vlad is definitely a freak, and he just proved to us that he's not only an Instagram bodybuilder. His side tricep also looks amazing, probably better than Mofuda's side tricep. Mofuda has great legs, like all other Egyptians, really, big Remy, Hassan Mustafa, and now Mofuda, they all have crazy legs, crazy outer sweeps, and I would say, as far as his upper body, he is probably more aesthetic than Vlad, like, Vlad is maybe wider, but, like, the way his shoulders are flowing with his arms, the size of the arms, they're kind of flatter and smaller compared to the shoulders, shoulders are just really dominant, really wide, and really round, and just popping out like crazy, I mean, it's impressive, it kind of reminds me of Marcus Rule, 
But it's not the most aesthetic physique ever, especially in the front relaxed. In the front relaxed you can see everybody's aesthetics, you can't hide your aesthetics in this pose, so Vlad doesn't look the best in this shot, but like his legs are really separated, really hard, finally we're seeing on the stage what we were seeing all these years on Instagram, finally he nailed it, you know, he nailed his peak, and it actually looks good, even on stage, like the separation is deep, legs are hard, vascular, it's looking very good, and also like he has pretty deep abs, but like the chest, the shoulders, the arms, the lats, that area, not very aesthetic, but then again, Tim Bodesheim also very wide waist, Nathan Epler way too small, Mohamed Fuda is beating Vlad in this pose, but I think that's the only pose he beats him at, front double bicep, also here you can see Mohamed has a better shape, better weight taper, better structure, but because of uh, Vlad's tan, and I would say overall conditioning, and just the freak factor, the size, the width in the shoulders, I think this one is very close, I guess I'd give it to Mohamed, but it's very close, I don't know who's winning this shot, and Tim Wurzheim is definitely not in the conversation for top 2, mainly because of his waist, I don't think it's the conditioning. He did get pretty good condition for this show, but you know, his structure against these guys is just not good enough, and Nathan Appler, he has a great structure, great shape, he brought up his muscularity, he came in conditioned, but he's still a little bit too small, in a couple of years, give him another year or two or three years, if he's already top 4 at this show, he can do well, but like, not just now. Front lat spread is a very similar pose to front relaxed, and Mo Fura is winning this one as well, so I think those are the only two shots that he's actually winning, side chest, even though it's kinda close, I go Vlad all day long because of the conditioning in the lower body, like that glute hamstring quad separation, and then when you turn to the back, it's lights out, it's definitely lights out, and I don't think uh, Vlad's back is that much bigger and better, but you know, his tan is really good and he's really hard, especially in the glutes, and like the back itself as well, Mofura is kinda holding a little bit of water, especially from behind, so I don't think he really nailed the peak as much as he could, I think he could have been a little bit drier, but still, he looked amazing here, top 2, I personally don't see him winning this show, but he's definitely top 2 and, you know, it's a possibility, he can win, maybe the judges are actually seeing something that we're not seeing here, maybe those issues that Vlad had before, like those bumps and stuff like that, like in, in the shoulders and arms and lads, maybe they can see that in person and for that reason they're gonna punish Vlad, but based on the way he, they were moving him, I don't think he's gonna be out of top 2, I don't think uh, Tim can beat him, and I don't think Nathan is gonna be third, I think Tim is very firmly in third here, Nathan is very firmly in fourth, and I think 1 and 2 is gonna be Vlad Sukharuchko and then Mo Fuda, but both of these guys really brought it, uh, Vlad Sukharuchko finally nailed the conditioning and he truly nailed it, he finally brought that crazy hardness that he had only on Instagram before, and Mo Fuda, like, he's a newer guy, a younger guy, now he's working with Stefan Kinzel, and he's very close to winning, he actually might end up winning, I don't think so, but even if he plays a second, he can continue competing and he can probably win another show, next show. I think next show is Tampa Pro, I'm not sure who else is doing it, I know John De La Rosa was planning on doing that show, and if he brings what he brought to the Arnold Classic, or a little bit better, it's gonna be difficult for Mufuda to beat him, but it's gonna be a hell of a show anyways, again, I think Vlad Sukharuchko is winning Chicago Pro, whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, for more content like this guys, subscribe to this channel, if you guys are watching this channel, and you're not subscribed yet, just please do me a favor, click that subscribe, subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, see you soon, all the best guys, and bye bye.